Well, hey, everybody. I wanted to try to get everybody a little bit ready for the weekend because our friend, our one and only Miss Foodie, has a new live stream that she released called My Love Says Hi. And, you know, unfortunately, I think I was asleep and I missed it. I'm so sad. But I wanted to go through and speed her up to 1.5 and uh, share it with you all. Chip in with my thoughts about what she's telling us all today. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I don't feel very inspired. But anyway, I've got to bring up all. A couple of little disclaimers here before we get started. Just to make sure that I'm nice and fair. First thing, let's add it to the stage. Let's add it to the stage, shall we? Oh, always the fair use statement. Just making sure that everyone knows that any material that I'm using from another creator or otherwise is under fair use. So, yeah, just always want to clarify that. And then, of course, my favorite. That, of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Opinion, commentary, roasting, and some ranting is a form of criticism with a good dose of sarcasm. But where it is, the lowest form of wit. There is no personal dislike, bullying, or hatred supporters on this channel or against those whose videos are featured. Any hateful comments will be removed from this channel, but very funny ones are always encouraged. So anyway, without further ado, my name is Life and Vibe, your favorite cardiac RN, and we've got another epic roast today. So let's just jump into it. Let's bring her to our stage. And if you do like this type of content, please subscribe. We're trying to actually get to 800 subs, but the right way, with people subbing. Because I don't need to buy my subs like some people. But I think they might talk about that. I don't know. And obviously, just always say, if you find any type of content around mental health or any type of discussions that are sensitive, because we just don't know where foodie could go. Foodie goes all sorts of places. So I just say, just, you know, you know, click on off. Step away. It's okay. Warm hugs are here always. June Bug's got warm hugs for you, don't you, June Bug? Yeah, she does. Anybody wants to see June Bug, you can check her out with our daily steps over at the shorts. Anyway, enough of that. Let's take a look at little foodie here. Oh, there she is. She's looking beautiful. She looks very pretty there with her makeup. She's, you know, obviously sporting her political thoughts and... Uh, we try to keep a little bit away from that. Uh, this is a very neutral channel. We're kind of like Switzerland over here. Okay, okay. But Everyday Mariam, as she likes to be known now, she posted this 15 hours ago, girl. 98.9 subs, 800 supposedly bought by reaction channels. You've only got 6,000 views. I'd be a little disappointed myself. A little disappointed. That's the sign of a channel that's that, that bang is not bucket anymore. And then the worst part is the 12 comments that we see here. And they're just all hearts and love because I think she's got moderation for review of all comments before they're posted to her site. Because there's not one asking about her diabetes her neuropathy, her supposed sciatica, uh, of which none of the things that she says is that she's doing for her sciatica, as any professional would know, is the treatment for sciatica. <clears throat> In fact, uh, really, they would try to get physical therapy, especially to have any herniated discs, bulging discs pushed back into the spine. Uh, any medications would be to decrease the pain to help them get the physical therapy. But anyway, foodie's over here getting B12 shots for sciatica. Mm, girl, no, that sounds like a nutritional deficit to me. But she's beautiful as always with lovely Arabian eye makeup. All right, foodie. You're long here. We might have to skip through you. Let's see what's go. Let's see if I can even muster through this one. We're going to let her go and I'm gonna try to chip in on this. All right, guys. Let's go, foodie. I miss the theme music. What's that noise? Stop messing with the cat. Leave the cat alone. 
What are you peeking at me for? Leave the cat alone. <laughs> We're telling you. Stop harassing the cat, please. Yes, yeah, girl. Oh, well, she's coming you. over. Okay. Well, that's okay. All right. As long as it's voluntary. Hey, Storm. Being held hostage. Hey, Susu. Brian McGriddles. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, Lula. Why are you squinting? Like from the you, you're squinting. Hey, hello, Yosef. You're squinting at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not first time. I can break it to you. <laughs> Better luck next time. Esufi. Esufi. Hello. Oh, my God. The zoomies. Forgive her. Don't. Julia. Tia Moonshine. Hold on, guys. I got to open the curtain. Girl, that's not the zoomies. That's a, that's a, that's a prison break from that cat. She's trying to get out of there, girl. And watch her. Watch her. Suddenly, you know, the magic vitamin B12 shots for somebody with a nutritional deficit probably brought on by that terrible diet that she consumes. You gotta swivel around that chair pretty quickly, foodie. Julia. Where's the sciatica now? Where's the pain now? Poor cat. Let the cat out. Freedom for Julia. Freedom for Julia. Freedom for Julia. <laughs> Julia wants to be free too. But talking about freedom all the time. Free the cat. Good morning here. I know where your phone is probably late. <sighs> Storm, it's 9 a.m., so I just got ready. That's it. Hi, Tangerine. Hello, Robin. Amanda, salam alaikum. Welcome, salam. Vanessa, when? Hello. Teardrop, hey, you're awake. Yay. I'm okay, Caddy. How long did you do this for? Oh, so I'm going to have some collagen. Why? Guys. Hi, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi, Simon. I'm okay, Caddy. 1 a.m. there, I know. Midnight in Texas. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Make a boss leak. My eyebrows are a bit dark, eh? Hi, Faye. Chantel. The way my name is spelt, the other way. You, there's different ways to spell Chantel. There's like, I think, three different ways or four. So you have one of them. I didn't think he went by Chantel anymore. I thought the name was now Mariam. Why are you confusing everybody? I thought it was everyday Mariam. That's what your site says, girl. Please. Don't correct the name of some, a name that you said you were no longer going by. Goodness me, girl. Please let's not be confusing to everybody. Uh, are you affiliate linked with that collagen? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, what's she going to tell us about her health? Okay. Let's get health tips from Foodie today. Yeah. She's an expert. Here. Except yesterday, you can't have collagen, you weirdo. <laughs> yesterday, it was a thunderstorming and lightning and. If it rains really hard, it floods in certain parts of Kuwait. It's a disaster. Imagine if it snowed. We're not prepared. 6 a.m. Hello, Vanessa. Is this the and same outfit she wore on the camel harassment? Like, the only thing I don't like is the time difference, you know? This is her timeline. But, uh, oh, Lord. The cat are you okay? trying to escape. Can't collagen. The cat's like collagen or something? Or? No, the cat's trying to get out of there. So I'm going to put some collagen <laughs> in a glass and drink it because... Cat wants to away. If you have it's tried to send us messages to the, to the like, audience, um, can out of it. Your hair. If you want to regrow your hi, Robin. Yeah, Blondie, you work overnight. Uh, um, hi. Okay, sit, sit, sit. The camels are so cute. I'm like, he kicked me. This covers my eyebrow. The camel kicked me. I was like, what the heck is your problem, buddy? Anyway, so like, you're lucky you didn't get kicked any holder, girl. That camel was actually being very nice from what I could understand, because I had uh, some very smart people left some comments in my posts, but uh, told me pretty much that that camel could have really kicked you ass, literally kicked your ass, girl. You got lucky, lucky escape. Dumb, dumb being out there with all those animals. Really, sticking your face into animals you don't know. You really are asking for trouble, girl. One of these days, the, the tigers are going to come out of sedation and take you out. You have to take collagen and B vitamins. Really, Dr. Dr. Chantel? Really, Dr. Chantel? You get out there being a doctor? What medical training do you have to give anybody any type of medical advice? What are you talking about? The reason why you having to get B12, if you are getting B12, which I'm not, you know, I don't think you're getting a clinic. You can take it at home. I think you are nutritionally deficient because of the diet that you eat, which is mainly fast food and takeout. You're not healthy, girl. I'm not even trying to plug off a collagen supplement. There's still limited research on it. It doesn't really have a taste, but... 
I prefer it. I preferred it in my coffee, but I heard oh, in cold water it's better. Tell. Ew, it's doing a weird thing like a fish. Oh, Lord. Thank you. You're always awake to your job. Like me. Thanks, Sidman. You didn't realize how camels work? Yeah, me neither. Like a lot of them. Well, why don't you do some bloody research before you get your horse out there and hang out and try to stick your face into a uh, horse of a wild camel, you dumb. But Jesus, what? But God. I can't even think of what name to call you because I'm trying not to use cussy words because I really wanted to call you a cussy word. Gosh, honestly, you really are not very bright. Walk away from me, but then there was, there was always one that likes me until it gets me. Hey, yeah, you deserve so to be now. kicked a lot harder, I promise you. Actually not, look, look closer, Please. this one is shorter. You know what, the only thing I can suggest is practice makes perfect with that. Because what? I don't know. Is that, oh, oh, okay. I hope you're talking about the eye makeup and not harassing you know camels. If I don't wear makeup, if I don't, I seriously look my age. I look 40. Like, I look old. I go from looking like... You look... I think the filters are starting to, like, calm your mind, girl. Because when I've seen you rolling around and you're not being filtered, you look pretty much past 40, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you are no youthful looking 40 year old. And the only, you're filtered to the bejesus for one thing, all right? And your insides are about 90. So I don't know what you're on about. I'm in 30s to like, I swear 50 if I don't wear makeup. I'm not kidding. Angela, how old are you? You'd be I'm lucky to look 50. You go smoky eye. Thanks, Caddy, with the goals. Um, yeah, the camels. Okay, you have so to actually keep it, like keep driving, looking young to look young. Deserts, I mean, which is like there's a lot, but the ones we go to, um, when you're driving along the long stretch of desert area, you'll see all kinds of camels all over. Now, um, they're owned by Kuwaitis, and usually there's like a guard, a camel guard with them. Um, but sometimes they're just roaming around freely, and the guard's not around, and whatever. If there's the guard, we usually just say, Do you mind if we hang out with your camels? And they're like, Nah, we don't do anything to hurt them. So, hello, oh, Cynthia, my leg. How do you know? The camels looked extremely uncomfortable when you, you were hanging out with the camels. And then you almost got kicked by the camel. And you're still trying to justify hanging out with the damn camels. Probably weren't the gods around. You probably found camels that didn't have a gold about. And you thought you'd take your over there and you would hang out with these camels, which was not a good plan at all. Jeez, it's all about you and your content, isn't it? It's not even good content. You didn't even talk about what type of cute camels they were. Just harass some camels, girl. It's not content. Everyone just doesn't think you're very bright. I think that's the part that you really just don't understand. Leave the camels and the street cats alone. It didn't really hurt, so my leg's okay. It's so bad. How are you guys? Yeah, uh, Julia's always beating in the background. Eh? Julia? No, the cat's trying to get out because it's wondering why it's, it's not with its other cat buddies, girl. Oh, Robin, you're beautiful. You know, there's nothing wrong oh. with getting older. I mean, I don't know. I don't mind. I mean, whatever. We are who we are. You know, everyone ages. Hi, Simply Ravishing. You know. Wow. Yeah, they have to roam around and get, you know, the desert's perfect for them. Hello, Kaylee. Hi, right. 15 minutes, Kaylee Robin. Angela, you don't look that from your. You know what, girl? I'll give you some tips for trying to stay young. One, physical activity. That's pretty good. You know, getting your out and actually doing real exercise that does not involve harassing, you know, camels that you have no idea anything about whose camels they are or anything about those camels. Secondly, if you're going to even go out, you know, don't be going around eating chicken pot pie, chicken roast, chicken and chips with, you know, your bread salad and covered in oil, the 4,000 calorie, super duper Fupo Frappuccino from whatever coffee shop that looked like Starbucks. I don't know if you were, you weren't really showing the label because you supposedly have a ban on the Starbucks because you, you know, you're out because <laughs> of its ties to another nation. But I don't know. I couldn't really tell where the drink came from. Looked like a Starbucks to me. Picture. Conspiracy. Um, hi, Barbara. I mean, everyone looks different at different ages, you know? Hey, Rosalia. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. You don't look as young as you think you do. Yeah, you just don't. I'm sorry. And your insides are probably about 90. Well, technically, legally here, my Muslim name is Miriam because, you know, I filled out the form and took my shahada and everything, but it's not like... 
not legal. Like, it's not really like a legal, legal thing, but yeah, I don't think some people have noticed yet, you know, because. Yeah, I used to have an aunt who used to change names too, but girl, she went right in the head. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm not saying that. What's like that. I just play with Chantel, everybody. This is a roast, okay? Just take it for what it is. If you get sensitive, clicky click on out. I'm a Gen Xer. I'm going to roast the bejesus out of this one because she's full of lies and she's a con artist. She's an absolute con artist. That medical trip to the clinic. I don't know anybody who's on the way to the doctor's for a pain injection and stops to run away from a herd of camels you don't know. Chunky freaking. With complaints of sciatica. Cynthia, you're new. I've never seen you before. I think you care about French. I'm, I'm 39. I think if I wear makeup, I think I look like 36 or something. Oh my God. Like Only you think know. that, girl. That's the film. That, oh, stop. Stop. Always go back. That's the filters talking. That's the filters talking. You're just so, your, your mind is skewed from all that time with the filters on your face. Walk away from the filters. Maybe you then actually see you don't look 36. <sighs> really, Chantel, you really don't look that good. I've seen you waddle around in your 500 pound waistline. I don't feel I'm being honest. Right like, I don't know. I've been taking those vitamin uh, vitamin injections. It's called Neurobion. And it's like vitamin B12. Whatever. B6, B1, and some other B vitamin. Biotin, I've been taking. Back your clinic. I've been taking high doses of vitamin D. Oh. Um, because women past a certain age, like especially if you've gone through menopause because of my surgery, um, my hysterectomy, you, you know, your bone density can diminish more quickly than others. I don't know why I'm whispering, like, so I'm not sleeping, but. <laughs> um, sounds like you've been listening to my channel, Chantel. Hmm. Sounds like the stuff that I talk about. Um, Oh, really? Now you did Anisha? Hmm. I a couple of days ago. Hmm. Also really nice. Hmm. Sophia, I love your coffee. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I like it. I, I don't really like it. <laughs> the five one. people in her chat. Thank you, Cynthia. I'm sorry. She's Maybe a terrible case. human being. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kind of like my, my mom, too, looks younger. She's like, I think, almost 60. Oh, God. You don't look that young. Please, you're delusional. The narcissism, personality yeah. disorder. Just I could be a mother who went trans. Well, ugly like, oh, head. <laughs> more mothers. <laughs> oh, sorry. The video with these Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to focus. I always go back between the. I don't want to focus on drama. It's not it weeping. It's and mentally it's draining. Um, but then again, when you know, I see something that's like, I don't know. I, I have trouble shutting up when I see like Showing. something that like, like pointed out. Whatever. Are you some baby? What are you talking about, Chantel? Blah, blah, blah. Not even paying attention. <laughs> Her hair's going back. Yeah. Oh, you lose hair with COVID? Oh, God. Hi, Nelly. Somebody said it's a uh, bad Wi Fi internet. Is that That's why the really? camera goes in and out. Vanessa, the video on DC is epic. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I would say. <laughs> it's great, though. Hello. She's not this Sweet nice. Nelly. I promise you guys. I want to make Lizzie jealous because she's sleeping around with the obsession of your life. <laughs> Peace, nice design you're wearing. Thank you, Belly. Your cat's just staring out the window, <laughs> wishing it could be outside. It doesn't not have yeah, vitamin Julia. D. Yeah. Vitamin D is like very important for your bones. It's very important vitamin, yeah. Girl, you're watching my channel. She had me at, she, so she was 16 when she got pregnant. She had me at 17, so how old would that make her? 56 or 57? It's, um, it's Mariam, M-A-R-I. Calculator Chantel is your new name. Vitamin D3, yeah. It's natural to defend yourself, I know, yeah. And I'm going to try to do it without, like, like you know, I haven't always done this, obviously. I've name called a lot, but I'm trying to, like, not be like that. Because, honestly, when it comes down to, like, brass tacks, I don't know even know where I got that saying from. Why don't you want to name call Chantel? Is that because it shows like those dark personality traits that you have? Does that narcissistic personality that uh, potentially, and I only speculate as a healthcare provider, you could potentially have just kind of showing and rearing its ugly head, that doubling down on the bad behaviors, oh, the malingering. I mean, you got a lot going on, girl, but you're very difficult to treat. So you're just going to play this audience. And they're eating it up. That's okay. It's their choice. Um, in the end, how someone looks, how much they weigh, doesn't, what they eat. Everything. Like, a choice. When you're like For many trying people. to argue with someone, like if you want to have an intelligent argument with somebody, like, you know what I mean? That doesn't matter. What matters is like the main points or pointing out important things. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Watch the Melvin CC. JFS history and lost some brain cells. No, that's some drama. I like saw some clips. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I saw some clips and like, cause I used to watch them. So he always gets recommended. Um, 
I don't know. I don't want to be mean to this person that's with him, but I don't think like she's really, I don't know. They're like, it seems like ever since they're together, all they do is like get super drunk and like she's apparently lost her channel. And like, I don't know. That sounds like the content you used to have on your channel, Chantel. It's just that your partner, yeah, you guys were doing other things. So I, you know, they always say people should never throw stones in glass houses. And that saying was built for you. There were some moments where it looked like she was just like tweaking out. So I don't think that, I don't know if they're like really healthy for each other. If all they do is get super drunk and, you know, like, I don't know. That's my opinion on it though. I like, he, he, oh. he don't want to lose his channel, you know? Hi, Susan. Well, come on, Chantel. Why don't you tell us from experience how it feels like losing a channel? You You lost your channel for a while on YouTube. How does that feel? Oh, was that after you had all the crazy drama going on, the taking of substances and, like, just general malarkey and shenanigans that you had going on? Hmm. Are you talking from experience? Not mentioning that part, are you? You're acting just like a sanctimonious know-it-all over here. <laughs> okay, thank you for being here. Hi, Alexis. CK or Tom. Hey, how you doing? Long time no see Southwest US, I was pregnant at 16 and had my first at 17. No way. That's, that's just like, yeah, just like my mom, your uh, teardrop. What, well, Allie? Wait, we're beached. Why are you using your mom as content like this? Are you trying to, to make some implication about your mom? I mean, can you move on? Where did Julia come from? Julia? Why are you watching? Can Leave I the cat alone. Not funny. Cat wants to be out. She was. Production, really? We're thinking of you, Call Julia. Language. No, you can call me Chantel Tris and Nadi. You can. Oh. Yes, I have four wonderful grandbabies. Mashallah, Robin. <laughs> Just stopping in before I go to bed to say, hey, my beautiful friend. Hey, no name. Yeah, how are what you doing? Thank you for stopping in. I'm waiting. It's nice to see all you guys. Bro, you've been here for this bottoms up is for health. Oh, hell. It smells like pennies. No. Hi, Silvio. <laughs> What are you suddenly now talking about your health for? I haven't seen any. Okay, you didn't drink stuff. yesterday. <laughs> a chicken pot pie. Really we know you ate the whole pie. I there. I'd have 20 cats. I love to rescue cats. Yeah, I know. Some of the cats, like most of the cats I see, like imagine you're a cat, okay? Like I, I know people think like, well, they don't have a long life expectancy, but. Wait, oh my God. Like, not with you, they don't. Right? They not with you, they don't. No, no, you're right. If you're the owner, the cat's life expectancy is decreased significantly. In that respect, you may be on to something. But be in nature, that's my thought on it, but as long as they're well fed and stuff. Especially the cats who hang around the parks and things, they are getting fed. There's always kibble around, you know? And they probably fish in the sea, I don't know. I don't know, maybe the drain rats are feeding them. Sorry, never have I ever, I didn't see that. Oh, she enjoyed that, didn't she? 52, as a, no, you said she had you at 16. No, so she she was pregnant at 16, and I think she gave birth at 17. You need better internet, Thank please. You, internet is like giving me a headache. I was in the back. I just had I like give it a disco. Oh, you have to get them for But with no pain. benefits. I had an injection, no name. So, like, right now, I don't feel any pain. Not like, mashallah, I keep saying that because you know how to jinx it. But um, ever since I had my last injection of vitamins, and um, from, they gave me. What the heck? Olfen, O-L-F-E-N or something like that. It's an NSAID. They don't do, like. I think it's like an, maybe with like a, I don't know, I thought it was steroid shot because when they inject me, like I feel weird, but I don't know, maybe mine doesn't matter. Is that the well, that doesn't make sense because that's not the treatment modality if it were to be sciatica. So you're just talking nonsense, girl. If it was sciatica, and I'm just going to break this down real quick, you know, just to let you know that it would be physical therapy. That's the main thing. Physical therapy. Physical therapy. And in conjunction, that means along with the physical therapy. That's that's for Chantel, everybody, because she listened to my content, not you guys. Don't worry. If I have to dumb it down, I'm dumbing it down for Chantel. Because she listens, and she listens to me hard. So anyway, it's actually, you're going to either do uh, neuromodulators, something like a gabapentin, a Lyrica, you know, something of that. I don't want to give her too many ideas. She go listen. She gonna, you're gonna hear her talking about this. Other things you could do anti-inflammatory, but they're just gonna give you something like Motrin or a leave. 
They're not going to inject an anti-inflammatory. If they do, it would be as an epidural steroid injection. But before that, they're going to try to get you to do oral steroids. And they are also going to have you do any type of, I wrote a note here, uh, something else. Manage, manage the symptoms. It's going to manage the symptoms. And if you can't manage the symptoms with all the other things, then they go in and do the steroid injection. And that's probably under uh, interventional radiology. So I don't think you hop skipping the way you did into the clinic. Looks anything like anyone going to get injections for any type of sciatica for interventional radiology. As always, girl, you're just full of nonsense and lies over here. Gosh, stop fooling your audience. If you do, are you all getting any type of vitamin injections, girl? As I said, it's because you're nutritionally deficient. And that's bringing on the neuropathy feelings because it's giving you nerve damage because you're B12 deficient. And that's from your diet. And that's what that's coming from, if that were the case. So stop misleading people. You don't have no sciatica, especially the way you ran from those camels, girl. That's no herniated disc. That's a Thank you. That means a lot to hear that. That's so cool. Thanks for watching me. That's a long time. Three cats over 20 years. Oh, wow, Kaylee. How do you feel about these being a 41 percenter? What does that mean, Don? <laughs> you change your name. You look amazing as usual. Kind of Southern Billy, I did. I'm rebranding. <laughs> yeah, our um, I think everyone's curious about the rebrand. <laughs> we have questions oh, and no so answers. Worried. Yeah, thank you. I hope you feel better too. <laughs> Never have I ever. Candy, what's wrong with my makeup? <laughs> too harsh. You know the vitamin injection you're getting is only to be done once a month. Once a month? I think they prescribe it more often if you're healing for something. <laughs> for long-term maintenance. Oh, 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 listen to this scanty detail medical scammer over here. Listen to her try to explain her way out of this one. Uh, do pray tell, Chantel. You're such a medical expert over here. What did you read when you were doing your little Google search? Since you have no receipts of any, anything about uh, actual medication regimen that you're taking on a tourist visa in a foreign country. That's here. Because you sound like a, you sound really, you know, you don't sound very bright. Let's hear how you lie to your audience. Because you're lying to your audience. Let me hear how you lie to the people who are possibly paying for memberships in your chat, girl. I want to hear this. Because it's awesome. Yeah, Miss Southern Bell, I think the injections help you yeah, the vitamins. Because the vitamins neurobiome, that's why it's called, it's a cocktail of vitamins, B vitamins to help um, nerve damage heal. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, that's an interesting throat clear. <laughs> Deepest delight. Oh, 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 Chantel. Oh, girl. Oh, now, you know, I do study psychology as part of my healthcare professional. I do only ever speculate when I say things. But I would think that that clearing of the throat cough followed by the giggle is a sure sign of some deepest delight when you were talking about that supposed cocktail you don't even know what you've been given. You supposedly have been to this visit to your clinic a million times. Most people could probably tell you if it were only just one or two drugs, the drug and probably the dosage. They can see that you're lying about the frequency and stuff, girl. They can smell a rat. And you're the 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 rat's gonna be on the ship as it sinks. You have suitcases under your eyes. I know this is new, a new development. I don't know. Liar on the medical consumer. stuff. Lie, scammer, con artist, girl. Schedule. Like that's the problem. So, absolute con artist. I'm coming you, for you, on it. Stop talking about it. Stop Thank lying you. to people. Stop using your health <laughs> lies. Oh, no name. Take money. <laughs> you are lovely. Good night, my friend. Lauren, you like it? Oh, there we go. Thank you. No name. That means a lot. Thank you. You too. Have a good night. Thank you for coming in here and saying hey. And thanks for the super chat. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> Better than I've been sleeping. Look at this. Hi, Italian from South Africa. You made it. How is it? Oh, I should tell you not sleeping because Salal didn't stay the night. 
did he just drop you off after you did some clinic filming? And <laughs> the little romp around with the camels you shouldn't be touching. And then you guys got into an argument. And then you raged at everybody on the internet. And now you're coming on here all crazy like this. And then you're going to take your feelings out on a pizza from what I can see. So it's just another couple of days in Chantel's life. And we're reporting on it. Reason being is that. Uh, why not? It's wild. What's the weather like there? There's always weird ones, yeah. Hurry up, girl. Julia? Or you got it like almost an hour, another hour to go. I have to speed you up even further. So you do more Abaya Modest clothing hauls? Yeah, for sure. I want to try to see if I can find anything maybe some new abayas for Ramadan because of Ramadan's like the month to get out your abayas and things. <laughs> so haven't you been sleeping well? Not terribly, Lexi. I heard your experience of Ramadan was that you slept during the time of fasting and then you'd wake up to eat and then you go to sleep. And then you kind of repeated that for the amount of days that Ramadan lasted for last year because it's not the same every year. <sighs> Are you looking forward to that? Because it sounds like your speed. P12 is good for your nerves. You can take vitamin pills too. Yeah, true, Mary. Oh, whatever. Do not even dare to have the audacity oh, to talk to you about audience about anything skin. medical, you scandalous oh, scammer. Tristan, stop I'm it. You sure. need to stop it. I'm reporting you to, to the authorities above. That means so I had to get, like, nerve damage. Ooh, uh, ice bath to your face. That would be nerve nice. damage? I'm going to try. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> Because if you do have nerve damage, Chantel, I can let you know, and anybody who works with people who are diabetic can let you know. It's either from peripheral neuropathy, because you're a diabetic and you're uncontrolled and you're undamaged. So that makes sense. Or, and it's, you know, and or both, you know, whatever. The nutritional deficiency in that Jesus god-awful diet you consume of garbage and nonsense take out. Hmm. Huh. I'm thinking it's both together, combined. Shocker. Maybe I get some good sleep. Hi, Jesse. I think that's not no, even true that, that you're getting regular shots. I think you're still milking the nice. monkey out of this. <laughs> Lying medical scammer. She looks the sunshine, yeah. Most creatures do. What's your other account, Jesse? Yes, Rosalia, we do. We will do well done. It's a summer, but we had a rainy day on arrival. I don't mind us. It was nice. But it's summer and stuff? Really? Oh, wow. So the summer's like the winter months there. Oh, wow. Take a teaspoon. Yes, nutritional yeast is good too. Okay, good night, Kaylee. I, I did it. Chantel out here trying to tell people about how to take medications and vitamins, okay? And she doesn't understand how the Earth's hemisphere works or where countries are located, even basically. So she's an absolute gobsmacker, as they say. <laughs> so it's not quite the term. But, but I think people know, in England know where I'm trying to head towards. Get myself, Lexi. You like the camel <laughs> What? No way, Squeaky. That's too bad. I don't love it either, Stacey. That's creepy. Squeaky from the devil's lettuce in Thailand. <laughs> They're actually um, making it illegal again for recreational use, I heard. Oh, well, I guess we will not be having any visa runs to Thailand. Only reason to go to Thailand was for this one to go get high. All right. Well, we'll have to put a guess in on the, we'll have to do like a little map with the little pins in it, trying to show where she's been geographically to update her tourist visas. But I would say the quality was pretty good. Vegemite is nasty. Let's see if they correlate with is loose I've never tried, I've never tried Vegemite. So far, it's been Canada and really Thailand. Like, no, not really. At the end, yeah. I had to run. I didn't like film the whole thing, but I had to run away from it. Like it was. It started like it was being. Really Next stop, Amsterdam. Um, and then whenever I like, um, started walking towards the other camel, it would like intercept me and like want me to pet it. And then whenever like, um, I went to leave, it started to like. Um. Don't blame the camels for your stupidity. Do not blame the camels for your stupidity. Look at that. Perfect face. Look at that. That's the face of somebody who would go up to a herd of wild camels. Or, she don't know. She just went up to some camels. Started sticking her face. And she stood right in front of the camels, too. 
which if anybody knows anything about those types of large herding animals, you don't stand directly in front of them in front of their chest area because you're asking for problems. She's lucky she got out of there as unscathed as she did. You know what, Chantel? I think it's a really good idea, actually. Why don't you go um, show us some more camels? I'd love to go see you play with more camels. More camels, please. I want you to get right in there. I want actually like a herd of four or five camels. I think that would be a brilliant plan. Can I see that? I was like, I gotta go. But like, it was wrapping its big neck around me kind of tighter and like pushing me. More, more camels. Like, Whoa, like, what are you doing? And then I was like, I'm getting out here. And I started backing away and it kicked me. And then it was like chasing us away. I want you a camel whisperer. I want more. I want. I want more time with you with camels. Hi, Crystal. Thank we you. We have more time with you with camels, please. <laughs> but yeah, I was close. I don't know. I'm, I'm I work, conditioning I work, I work for more time with camels. Stay away from it. You know. No, I wouldn't. So, I don't more, think that's uh, a good plan. It's reason for me. No, I think. Sunshine, you... are you a river or just an up and queen where you can jump to fit in? Um, no, I did actually. I'm a convert. Yes. So I was like, it's mad. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> the camel's mad. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> Thanks for being you. Oh, Blondie Barstow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and you know what the even funnier part was, it girl? Is we all saw Salau running with the camera away from you. <laughs> and you who got chased and kicked by the camels. Girl, he would have let you get trampled to death by those guys. And he would have just left you, and we would have just seen, like, hit, like, like the camera, like, on one of those shaky runs when someone's escaping a disaster. That's what we would have been seeing. Yeah, yeah. He would have literally left you in the dust. You know what? That'd be, that would be choice. That would be, <laughs> he didn't pay him enough that day for, for him to save you from that. <laughs> it was awesome. Awesome. Once you get run with the camera away from you, girl. You. He didn't care to save you. Not for his Thank life. You so much. That's so He's sweet. Not worth I it. appreciate that. You're not worth it to him. You gotta live a little every now and then. Well, <laughs> it's just because like I was always addicted to it, so it was hard to stop. But I noticed when I was doing it there, I was like less motivated and more tired to go out and do things. So you know what I mean? As long as such um uh back up here. Uh, you're not very motivated to do much in Kuwait without the weed. So I don't know what you're talking about. You actually were out in Canada in your car doing more. So what are you so motivated when you sit in your 500 by 200 square foot apartment raging at the camera, girl? That's not doing anything. I'd rather see you sitting raging in the Kia. At least I got to see the backdrop of some Canadian shops. It's a beautiful religion. It is, yes. You're always welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Camel seem, seem to have a thing for you. Yeah, there's so, at least there's always one. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Your hamster is so cute. Yes, Blondie, your hamster is cute. Howie. Should I go get Howie? No, I don't want the cat to freak out. Do you want me to go get Howie? Going to Mecca in 2024. I don't know yet, Dawn. It does destroy motivation, squeaky from, yeah. Yeah, this has like, a good plan. Let's not try to get the cat into another room and put the cat away. And then bring the hamster out. No, well, let's just get the cat and the hamster out together. Yeah, that sounds like some Chantel planning there. Me too. Einstein. Yeah. Einstein plan. Yes, Lexi, we did have a nice day. Einstein level celebrate. plan. So I don't really celebrate anymore, but we did our own little thing anyways. <laughs> but I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Blondie. They passed away at 2.5 years. I hope I have Howie for another year and a half then, because I had him for about a year now. I was a chronic before COVID. Once COVID hit, I pretty much quit because I was afraid COVID would kill me as a pro smoker. I still haven't caught it. I'm a little bit disturbed that you're always talking about the life expectancy of your animals, Chantel. Um, really, really, really grim. But mind you, you're a pretty grim person. Yeah. Well, you never had COVID. Good for you. Your mom called me when she adopted me as a baby. Oh. Oh, God. Fuck you. Get better on Wi-Fi, girl, go. or internet, or something. Your camera's terrible. Yes. You look tired, dang. Take care of your teeth. I was up pretty early, and I couldn't go back to bed. Because you were no. upset, because the loud left. After Fedra, I just would, like, try to rest a bit more than I was supposed to stay awake. But I uh, have trouble. I'm all dolled up just to, like, be on camera. I switched out of some of their all-around bars, especially the ones, yeah. Okay, what else interesting? 
What do you think? What are you going to say? See? What do you think? You think that's true? Come. Uh-oh. Come. Uh-oh. What's this? Are you sunbathing? Oh, is that? Is she looking at Julia? Oh. oh, that poor cat wants out so bad. Oh, COVID. I, I probably had it a few times. Oh, God. Not surprised. Do you know why? Maybe just a flu. You know why we all know you might have had COVID a couple of times or a few times? It's because you were running around Canada thinking you were part of the essential workers as you ran around fast food places harassing poor fast food workers in order to get your bees on, basically. As always, Stella. Stella, member of the community, Chantel. God, we're so glad you're part of the community. You know. Um, this is called a kafia. I didn't have breakfast. Spell that. I don't know. We're going to probably go out for breakfast. Of course you're going to have breakfast. Oh, you enjoyed that, didn't you? It's like a weird aftertaste. Really? I said it was made from bovine stuff. There was a picture of a cow on the front. I'm surprised. Egg and avo. Really? I don't like avocado toast. Oh, God. Know. There you go. Just shush about the avocado. Can you just talk about something other than food? <laughs> boring. Talk about something other than food, please. Wow, Desert Rose. That's good. You have no conversation. Yeah, it tastes like bovine. Oh, I just said oh, that. So what a stock, hey? Yeah, there's a picture of the cow on the front. I'm a vegan and I knew that. Like avocado? Oh. I only like it in certain things like guacamole. It's starting here. Not always, never have I ever. Sometimes. As a scarf, not on his head. Oh, yeah. Come cook, eat with us. You seem much calmer and happier. Yeah. Well, we have to go out for a bit, so I think we're just going to get something out. There's like so many like. No, it's just because it's early in the morning in Kuwait and there's apartment walls are thin and the neighbors have already lodged a complaint that she's loud. I'm probably going to do a vlog today, too. I don't like avocado. Allegedly. She is, but it makes it creamy. Okay, coffee is my language. I hope you enjoy your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> guacamole is avocado. I know, but like I only like it like made into guacamole usually. I worked in the hospital first two years in COVID, so I never had any Probably guacamole. like store ball on the shelf. Covers. Oh, yeah, Rosalia. Yeah, because you're having to like have the energy to deal with the newborn, right? And then uh, you're sick. Why would you be wasting your time watching this person? Really, Regina? They're really good for you. Avocado. Actually, I like avocado in the, the shakes oh, I get. Not the shakes, okay. but like the avocado. Juice. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we've seen the look of that avocado drink that you had that looked like it had about 4,000 calories in it as well. Just because it's smoothed up and put into a cup and has honey and cream and sugar and nuts and who knows what other ingredients added to it that ends up making it a 2,000 calorie drink and make it healthy. You do not need to be given nutritional advice to anybody on the internet. You need to just be silent about this. You're so dangerous. You don't know what the, you're talking about. Just quiet it out. Gosh, your ignorance is so on show. Please, stop <laughs> that. But they're full of good vitamins for you. Like which ones? The color and consistency of guacamole turns me off. It's they're actually like to do with fats, actually. Look That's why they recommend you eat them. To do with the healthy like fat. Like See, really bread and butter. Just, wow, that sounds oh. heavy. <laughs> you have to wear a head piece. Uh, I don't have to wear like sorry, this. Yeah. Wear, like different types of hijab, but yeah, if I'm out in public, um, and around people that are not like that can't see me without it. So basically, people who are like not related to me or my husband can see me without it. Stuff like people like that. So I have to wear. My husband doesn't like, ever look at you. Can I let the sound of rain. I don't know. That probably costs extra in the fee chart. You, po you probably have to give him, like, I don't know, 100 Canadian to, to have him look at you without the hair, without the, the hijab. I don't have, like, fr like friends here I talk to consistently, no. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Is there a Chipotle, Stephanie? I don't think so. <laughs> I think there's one coming, though. I want to bathe in avocado and eat my way out with cheesecake. Is that your menu Ooh. book of takeout? I had one of those avocado smoothies in Morocco. Oh, they're good. Hey, did you have it with, like, nuts and honey? Hijab is optional. Um, yeah, like, like you're not forced to wear it, but because I'm Muslim, yeah, it's like a requirement. No, it's not. It's not a requirement. It just popped up for me, complete jump scare, really? <laughs> Gotta make that dough. Why do you say things that aren't true? I have a lot of girlfriends in the UK who are of Muslim faith. 
and they did not wear a hijab. It's only for certain types of sects of Muslims, I believe. Or religious, you know, levels of belief, or there's there's other significance behind it. But it's not every Muslim woman. Stop saying just things that aren't true. I don't know enough about it to say, but I just know that every mu Muslim woman does not wear a hijab. So that's a lie. That part I do it's know. so good. It's, it sounds terrible, but it's not. That's a lie. They blend the avocado. They blend it with like honey and they put nuts. And maybe some milk, I think. It's so good. It's so creamy. It doesn't taste any. It doesn't taste like avocado. No. Oh. Uh, what do you mean? I ate up a little bit of Macron yesterday. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> Interesting bread and butter. <clears throat> don't you get lonely not having any friends there? I know I do. No, I don't get lonely at all. I'm like always with Salah, and I'm like the type of person that like. Uh, what do you mean? You just talked about feeling like you did lost to your friends and stuff like two videos ago, and now you're talking about Salah being here again. It's exhausting. You really are exhausting. Can you just, you know, keep it? This is why your audience has so many questions because they can't even keep the straight. Like my space. So, gosh, keep it straight. I'm a huge person on socializing, but I have friends I talk to, like a couple of good friends. Wait, who? Like, on the phone. Oh, the pizza nada. Who? And you guys, like honestly, talking to you guys is like a form of socializing, even though it's on the internet. No, 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 no. This is different. No, no. And see, this is where that you are incorrect, Chantel. You're a YouTube creator, and this is your community who enjoy your content, and you're supposed to be, like, delivering some type of content for these folks to watch and enjoy. Not you trauma dump these people and, and use them as your artificial friends. That's not what that's for. Now, if they decide they want to get friendly with one another in the chat, so be it. But I mean, when you cross that creator, you know, and your viewers line, I think you, you're crossing a line a little bit. My my point professionally. You know, they're not your friends. Stop trying to these poor people. God, they had to have be entertained. How is this entertaining? God, you got you're gonna go on. How long? Are they just not super chatting enough out of you? Is that why you're just continuing this stream? You got like five people because you banned everybody. I don't I haven't seen any Lexi, but maybe there are. What are doing with mashed apple, dark cocoa powder, agave? Yum. That's on selfie. Actually, my hair is super huntress. Yeah, I can tell you guys, like, I was surprised. Like today after the shower, I was like, wow, like it's like getting long. No, you're good, bread and butter. I'm used to weird. Hello, Green Mac. Hello, Brian and Kevin from Arcadia. Hello. Yeah, like mine is kind of hiding my brows, yeah. Chantel, your hair is never going to be the same because you did not follow the hormone regimen therapies that were recommended after you had your hysterectomy. And you know that. So stop trying to mislead people about how great your hair is, girl. It, it's convenient that you get to hide it. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a fake cancer story, <laughs> probably. You'd be just the type. Which bagels are better? I haven't had New York City bagels. And I apologize, but I know you had cancer. But just to Kettleman's bagels are the best. Hide your vanity. Holy guacamole on toast with a sprinkle of everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, holy guacamole. I used to eat that with a spoon. It's really good. Salty, though. Decent piece of candy for a B day. No, no, he didn't request one gristle. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hi, Kai. Carrie, hello. Never heard of being at home with just family. I don't have friends except far away in different states. Yeah, same here, Deirdrop. I get you. MySpace, <laughs> Guns N' Roses. That's so like, what's that? Like 2000 and like what? Two? I can't remember. Your cat Minnie, say hi to Minnie. Uh, that's the diabetes effect of your yeah. memory. Hello. That's what that is, girl. Hi. That's why you can't remember. <laughs> that's it. It's the diabetes. When she comes here, I'm gonna grow her. Cody is nuts. Yeah, they are, Lexi. New York City bagel. <laughs> Nice bread and butter. I do need to get back on it. Eh. I, I don't even know. I, I made a MySpace, but I like didn't even really post to it much. I think like once or twice. I remember. I feel so old. Like I'm like before the internet, but like I remember when the internet became a thing and like dial up that noise. Come here. What are you doing? Oh, God. I was trying to escape from you. Leave yeah. the town alone. 
She has some crunchies and now she's going to clean herself. It's hard to make you know, exactly. You don't brush her. her. It really is. You don't take her to the bed. That's why she has to do it herself. Let it like completely make me, make me completely jaded. But it is hard. For the, I don't, um, for the pie crust, this time I had, I didn't use olive oil because I'm low. Also on the cooking videos, yeah, coming soon, actually. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Please don't. You got mail. <laughs> Not talking HTML about my chicken pot pie. Space. Yeah, HTML is hard for me. That chicken pot yeah, pie was very, just very suspect. Um, you have to use about three quarters. So if you put like no. two and a half cups of flour, you have to put about three quarters of a cup of oil. So I used sunflower oil, I think it was. Yeah. But it's just so easy. That's why I don't want to have to make the butter super cold. And then, I don't know. It well, you should like be nice, eating nice. all that butter anyway because you're a type 2 diabetic. I always let myself down. Why are you out here talking about myself, carby always... chicken pot pie? Oh. We had party lines on our phone lines where we had to share lines with other people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I know. I'm bored of your content too. I feel like going like that as well. And you're yawning on your audience. That's so rude. My space was fun. You could customize your profile and add music. Yeah, it was all about Lethargy music. Lethargy from the diabetes. Bring your tissue, baby girl. Wait till you. What time is it? It is 9.45. So you guys are, um, okay, you guys are three hours behind. Oh, God. That's not the best know. position to see your cat, girl. If you had to use the phone, you had to, yes, you had to wait for somebody to stop uh, using the phone for the end of it. Customizing my platform on my space. Yes, Patrick. I understand. I understand, Kitty. I understand. Yeah, the time difference is crazy. Yeah, I know, right? Does it, Rose? His chair, yeah, it's more comfortable. Like while I'm having these flare ups, Lexi, like the other chair is kind of hard. Good night, Regina. Well, you need to sit up and, oh God, do your content. Whatever this is, when you sit there and, you know, do your mukbangs and then whatever you got going on. It's the rinse and repeat cycle of the same content that's not very interesting. Continue. Gosh, still have like 40 minutes to go. I can't believe it. What do you got to talk about for 42 minutes? People, just send her enough money so she wrap up the chat. Uh, thanks for being here. I can't stand Twitter, but most love it. I don't get it. I, I really hate it too. I don't have a Twitter. I don't check, but people like lately have been sending me things. <laughs> but I... <laughs> People have been talking crap about Twitter for Twitter years, and I haven't either. even seen probably two. I don't care about Twitter. Twitter. I don't understand Twitter. So, he hasn't really been gaming, honestly. So, <laughs> I hear he's not very to, good. Uh, keep busy with other things and working, paying attention to each other, and doing things together and stuff like that. Why keep up the charade about you and the husband? I don't understand. You pay him. For certain obligations, like probably drop you off some takeout food that can't be delivered to the house, to take you to these outside trips that you need to do to satisfy your subscribers and your members with some content, harass them getting camels, fake a clinic trip, make up whatever you got going on, scam and lie about your medical stuff. I mean, and then rage on some, you know, other political things that I'm not going to get involved with. <laughs> Thank you, Fountain Glare. What are you doing? But you double down with your dark personality traits. Good people like you. Good or small head. Yeah, they like you more than they like her. Or they like her more doing? than they like you, girl. Why are you Sorry. Doing I missed I miss that one. Freak of nature. Poor cat. Poor, Poor kitty. I'm no. sorry, Julia. I know you want to yeah, get out of there. happy and hyper in the morning. No, she's not happy. Breakfast. She just wants out, you girl. Breakfast. You have butchers. You just stole a cat <laughs> off the street. You stole a cat off the street, man. Yeah, see, why would I live here by myself? It doesn't make any sense. Nobody, nobody, it's all bull BS. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why do you live there by yourself? Because that young man don't want to be anywhere near you, girl. After he got called the poop man all over Christmas and New Year. And you're not paying him enough to appear on camera anymore. You don't make enough coin for that catfished husband of yours to show up on camera with you. So this is my thing. You have all sorts of messy life in Canada. Messy, messy life in Canada. You know, apart from needing to get your taxes sorted out, your personal life for a little bit while 
there's potentially, you know, the, the different allegations and reports that were made to officers of the law that could potentially or could not potentially go into a crown prosecution case in Canada for another person that you are probably the other person that you're talking about calling a friend. So my thoughts are, Chantel, that in all those moments when everything was going into a chaotic tailspin in Canada, you encountered this young man on the web who was willing because he thought you were making a lot of money because I'm sure you bragged to him about your 20K months you were having when you were raging around and doing crazy things that you now don't want to think about. Um, where some of your audience came from, apart from the mukbang audience. And then, suddenly, over Christmas, when the stories leaked about his other transgressions, it kind of all fell apart. The couple's channel came to the end. The money kind of dried up. He got his car, kind of got what he needed out of you. He kind of, what they call, fatten up the cow. Now, I hate to use that language, but I believe that's the language they use in the internet to describe these situations. So he, he, you know, he got you, you know, fattened up pretty good and, you know, hit you with whatever you needed to hear. And he certainly milked everything out of you now. And he's not as happy anymore because the, the money isn't coming in like it used to. Not at least from you two. Not with the money you told him about. There's no reason for him to stick around. That's why you sit there alone in that apartment. He only has to do his perfunctionary duties that you bear, you can afford, which is probably take you out once every couple of weeks to do some filming and show you out and about in Kuwait. And he shows not barely show himself on camera because he don't want to be seen with you go. And then secondly, maybe get some food to you. But otherwise, you're sitting in that apartment in Kuwait trying to figure out what the next steps of your life are going to be. That's what's going on. That's why everyone thinks you're sitting there alone. Because he's not sharing that place with you, girl. Anyway, that's my theory. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think I want to, you know, kick. I don't think so, bread and butter. I don't think I, I, I used to think about it, like, before when I was live streaming more. But I, I don't want, like, to live stream my whole life, you know. Julia's brand I changed my name to my... You do pretty much live stream your whole life, Chantel. So that's a full, bold lie. You do. You live stream you eating your mukbang meals. You basically live stream your meal or you video your meals, I should say. Correct me. Hold on. And then you live stream like this for an hour and 20 minutes, which takes up a good old portion of your day. And then you go back to eat, you film that, and then it's off to sleep probably. That's about the portion of your day. You're not out there working out. You're not going to a gym. You're not learning a language. You're not exploring the culture. You're not visiting a museum. You, you, you do nothing except being known on the internet. That's all you do. Just, I don't know, tire free beauty. I want to go out and look at Ikea. I have any game sitting on the floor. Oh, I want to do tonight. <laughs> you got it. Love, Julia. Thank you. They have no proof. They never do. Like, it's so stupid. Why would I, I, it doesn't make any sense. Why would I live by myself? Like, really, logically, why? Is there a reason? Yeah, because he don't want to live with you. So, uh, yeah, that's a reason right there. <laughs> I mean, come on. You, you can only force somebody to do what they don't want to do so much unless he's being held hostage like the cat. <laughs> Why would I come here to live by myself? Because you got a messy life in Canada, girl. I don't even know if that's possible. In this building, it's not possible. Yeah, it's for families only. They don't know the culture here. The ignorance is apparent. Mm. Mm. You know, I've heard all sorts of other stories about that, girl. Definitely not for everyone. Being presented with the adorbs. Thank you, Angela. Religious marriage license. But then conspiracy theories. Yeah, like they don't even make any sense. Yeah, they do. It's weird not seeing or hearing him in your videos anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Are you getting chubby or are you just fluffy? No, you're getting chubby. Stop like, shaming the cat. Color, but then she's like, I have a smushed face like a Persian and long hair. I don't know. She's strange. They need to make drama where it doesn't exist. It's still livelihood. You nailed it. Oh, it's still awesome. Aren't you the lady who just like raged all sorts of nonsense yesterday that everybody was embarrassed for you because you're a grown woman doing it? Okay. All right. I guess you're just moving on as always. 
Join a nightmare and love catching lives. I vote for you officially during all reaction and nothing as time for better things. Hey, block those. We don't have to even see what they're saying. Yeah, Joanna, mostly, yeah. Uh, like, I can just, like, not not vote for I mean, sometimes I get sent things, but yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I agree with oh, you. Probably. Oh, is this the setup? Is this the setup? Is this all the setup? Because you then had, and I don't know what the timeline of this being released and the release of this supposed message that you received that was supposedly really nasty towards you. And now you're saying at minute 44, 49 in this live stream about things being sent to you, you really are a conniving individual. And you just try to act as though, but you talk about not wanting to put your personal life. You need to be a little bit more cautious because everyone watching you, girl, with a fine tooth comb because we want you gone off the internet. No, I'm not naysayer. Because you're not a very good person. It's not anything to do with her religious yeah. beliefs or her political affiliations. Yeah. It's her intrinsically as a narcissistic personality as a slaughter, speculation only. Come here, do we? Okay. Leave the cat alone, okay. big girl. The person that's saying that's a lot is staying with his dad and only drives you to doctor's appointments. Why? Like, what? What? Like, there's no logic behind that at all. I was going the camels yesterday. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ugh, just like that. You can get a DNA kit for your pets to see what breed they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just read that. <laughs> I don't think she's virgin, though. She's definitely not purebred. No, I don't think she's purebred. That's what I mean. She's like a mixed breed. Like, look at her face from the side. It's like pushed in like a virgin, but. Girl, you just got her off the street. How the heck do you know what that cat's got? She's, <laughs> She's mad. That's an angry cat girl, tail. You can wrap a feet. You can request she a She is not happy you mess with her, girl. Leave no, the cat know. alone, man. <laughs> if they use their brain power for their own lives the way they do, coming up with unfounded conspiracies, they wouldn't be so miserable and petty. So, yeah, true. Oh, whatever. I should have to laugh in my intro for those who miss it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? She knows she's, she's showing off for you guys. Are you showing off for the people? <laughs> I just feel bad for the cat, man, because I know the cat wants to back where she came but from. But I hear, like, they're hard to, to go into. They're, like, steep and have a lot of stairs and stuff. I love when she rolls around. Roll around for crystals. Girl, she already told you she doesn't want you harassing Good. her. Leave the cat alone. <laughs> just leave the cat alone, please. <laughs> No, she keeps trying to get away from you. Uh oh, what happened to that? Her new magician sciatica suddenly. How come you can yeah, just get over like that? Oh, she's great. It's amazing. Those vitamin shots that are never treated for sciatica or as a treatment yeah. for sciatica, I should say. Yeah. Oh, poor cat. You don't want anything to do with you, girl. She's still a daddy's girl, yes. Sam's tail, yes. Scottish holds have the short stones as well. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I see what you mean. Short snout cat. Yeah, they, they get breathing problems, I heard. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Nellie. Her eyes are amber. <laughs> yeah. she, has a, she has beautiful amber eyes. <laughs> what? Oh, gosh. Leave the cat alone. God, I wish She's the so cat cute, would eh? scratch you. Caramel That's a nice them. cat. She's doing meow. Hmm. Yeah, there's so much instability in the world, I know, Patrick. Oh, gosh. <sighs> so anyways, guys. No, it's politics, Chantel. <laughs> is she waiting for all these super chats to come in? What exactly? Well, you what actually have to give anything? content value. She's there's no content value here, girl. She loves all the Where's your content value? Them, you know? How What's this content? Um, I'll probably do maybe a gaming live stream later tonight or something. Oh, please don't. Also, Every like, gamer thinks you're terrible. Um... Maybe All the gamers maybe think you're terrible. I haven't had a Latifah, I had a Latifah mocha the other day, yeah. Yeah, you did. A yeah. mocha yeah. frappuccino, 4,000 calories, no diabetic so death. Thanks, last time, players. I have a cat that's blind in one eye, so when she looks at you, it's like you. Oh, is it like a cloudy eye? What game do you want to tell her? She'd have that cat to the vet for other reasons. Nelly, love you, and kiss her head for me. I will. As soon as my lip gloss wears off, I'm going to kiss her extra for you, Nelly. Thank you, oh, Nelly. That's oh. sweet of you. Thank you, love. Girl, so she, must have given, she must have she sent some, I want to make, I want to make a group of people who want to play, that. like people I know, like Beezers, like Phasmophobia altogether. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't think so. No thanks. <laughs> no offense. Oh. Let's just hang out. The scary game freaks you out. That's fun. 
How do you even have to keep playing with that all the time? If you guys want to play Sims tonight, I can try. I'm not good at it. You guys will have to help me. Well, then practice first before you come out and just. Is it like Cyclops or is it like one eye, one no eye? <laughs> just practice before yeah, you go yeah. out. And just like, just no, practice yeah, first. Can you practice first? Oh God, you're so tiring. I have my collagen. Now my hair will grow even more. No, it won't. Don't work like that. Mm -hmm. You can post on oh, no, the CPAP's gone. <sighs> the kitchen sink burger. The burger includes ground turkey, beans, oatmeal, tomato paste, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and onions, flour, and dry milk. That sounds good, actually, and healthy. Mm, Rod Roscoe, how do you cook them? Pan fry them? Fortnite is so fun. You love GTA? Sims is okay once you get started. Like, what, what's the point? Do you build a life, like a fake life? The wrestling one, Lexi? No, not really at the moment. I'm having grilled cheese with green onions. Yum. Face crickles. I'm hungry. I want a falafel sandwich with extra zucchini. I tried to play Sims for so long, but when people kept running out of the house to sleep on the bench, I miss work and then get mad and start running in circles around my life. Or cat. That sounds chaotic. Just watching the cat. Cat way more interesting than Chantel. She just talks about food and what content to potentially make in the future. Oh, deaf. Another deaf oh, oh. I had to wake up though. I was falling asleep. Really? Can't be back up. Well, as long as you know they're doing okay. I'm just watching the cat. Might be a bit of extra work, but it's worth it. Very cute. Oh, look at the cat. What the cat got? They become ghosts. There you go, Julia. You have some fun. What are you? What are you doing, you guys? She's just having fun because you don't give her any toys or anything for her to play with. She's got to pay with like game dust with in the air, girl. Uh, Lexi, probably we're going to be going out, so probably get some cameras. Then I'll even have like one of those little so nice to open to people to subscribe. Yes, exactly. Broad thing that people have for the yeah. cats. Nada. I got to come up with another perk for you, the beezers, though, too. Yeah, you do, because your content boring as <coughs> heck. Broken. Don't put them right Yeah, why don't you get some imagination? <sighs> yeah, huh, that means thinking. Oh, uh, is that really you? Babe? Or is that a troll? No, that's the troll account or you. Hello, sweetheart. Hello guys, it's been a long time. Miss you all. Oh hi, hi babe. <laughs> we miss you. Yes. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what are you doing, babe? What are you doing? Well, the stream four day. Okay, Belly, I'll check into it for sure. Welcome to lunch. She's trying to remember what it used to let be like. Glad you lost three. Though. That's what she's doing. Make a Discord tier. Good idea, Crystal. I think I will. So love, we miss you. Yes, <laughs> come back. Yeah, I can yeah, have to like. Make him play with it for it's not that easy. <laughs> I was getting my blog finger ready. Too much okay. for Chantel. Hi, babe. What do you want to have for breakfast, babe? <laughs> Welcome back. You can't Can even you get a ring know? light. Yes. Or let's set up a Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you like your video, Salah. So yeah, me too. <clears throat> I almost deleted it. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, babe? What are you doing? That's why oh, Chantel has been seven years on YouTube. Doesn't have a Discord community. <laughs> All is you actually back. have to set up like a <laughs> Discord platform. No, she can't do that. I mean, that would require work. <laughs> we miss your handsome face. She shucks work. Sorry, what are you talking about, girl? I lost it like ten minutes <laughs> ago with you. I think he really loved you just after. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And things have been a lot better for real, you know. Have they? <laughs> Desert Rose, you'd be ready. How? <laughs> I'm mystified. Yeah. No, we don't care if people talk. Just, it's not, it's me, not my shadow. <laughs> it is a lot, yeah. Creature comfort. Hi, babe. Oh, I had no wrench, really? Maybe it was a glitch. Why am I whispering? I don't know, Leslie. I really don't. Neighbors, I don't know, it feels like I should whisper. It's like an unconscious thing. Okay, I'm gonna talk loud now. Hello, <laughs> glad to see so. you again. Yes, the neighbors hate it. Oh, they call me. Here's come back a lot. We sometimes, yeah, allegedly, maybe. Inshallah, right, babe? It's up to you. It's up to him. I don't think she's whispering right now. Just talking a bit quietly. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Shiki. Sausages, eggs, and chips, fries, beans, and bread. A lot of ketchup. Yum. <laughs> Lexi, we're probably just gonna go out. I want to do a vlog and stuff, but. Yeah, Joanna. You know what? It's not even my butt that hurts. It's my leg. Like, <clears throat> with sciatica, it's usually the leg. Oh, so right goodness. now, look how long I've been sitting. I feel fine. <sighs> yeah. Girl, I'm going to tell you, don't have sciatica. Everybody and their mother knows you do not have sciatica. You might have something going on, girl, but it's peripheral neuropathy or B12 deficiency or diabetes. We know you definitely have. So to have peripheral neuropathy makes sense. 
And then the garbage diet that you eat, having a B12 deficiency makes sense. But you don't have sciatica based on the treatment because you're not seeing any physical therapist. And everything that you talk about that you're receiving would be contrary to what standard of care for the treatment of sciatica would be. And most of them are pretty standardized globally. So I don't think Kuwait any different from the United States on how they treat sciatica. Stop lying to your audience. So full of it. Do you have sciatica too? What do you do for a creature comfort? I need help with physical engineering. therapy. Longy something that you don't do because you're lying. When you were talking quiet, it's not you. It's a you medical scammer. I know. Con artist. I, well, but I have different uh, con you know, artist and stuff. Medical scammer. We haven't seen Sala since Thailand. <laughs> Feels that way. I miss Thailand. Long I long actually people. do. Sorry. Oh. I'm oh, I tired. Again for vacation. I'm tired of telling you to stop lying. Hello, Applebee's. I know you always lie. This reminds me of my sister. I can't stand long. I have to sit or lie down most of the time. Too much pain. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, tear drop. I feel you. I know what you mean. What do you do? Laying down is the most comfortable, you know? You're a liar. Well, that's just because oh, you're lazy. That's why. Oh, what is that? Vitamin D, it's C, and zinc. Activity. That is healthy. Oh. Yeah. I like going for long drives. It's like, you know what it is? Yeah, I did, Lexi. I got up early for Fadger. That's why I, did. I usually go back to bed for a bit, but I didn't <laughs> have bags under my eyes. When mm -hmm. I had bad sciatica, the only thing that helped me was diclofenac. I do have that, Patrick. You don't even know what that is. Maybe I should take some. Uh, I don't even know what I'm taking right now. I could go get it. How are, how are you taking diflucanac? How are you taking it? Hmm. That's very interesting. And I would suspect you don't actually have that medication on hand. Yes, there are tablets, but usually for sciatica, I'm guessing his is topical. And usually if you have any heart issues or something, they're, not, they're sort of not keen to prescribe diflucanate sodium. So why don't you stop and stop lying about the stuff? Also B12, I understand with metformin is a contraindication because it would degrade the effic efficacy of the metformin. So if these doctors know that you're prescribed metformin for your diabetes, they're probably not going to want to prescribe you B12. So you're a medical scam artist. You're just lying and you're getting peripheral neuropathy and it's starting to affect your gait. That's why you walk, funny girl. And now you've had to come out with a story as to why you can't walk normal. Because you can't admit that you got the numbness and the tingling in the leg from the peripheral neuropathy. Because it's classic. It looks hallmark. And so you're trying to tell people you got sciatica. Because you don't want to tell people that your diabetes has now affected your walking. And that they will never get fixed again. So I don't think you're seeking actual treatment. You're just making stuff up that you're reading. And you're trying to give some excuse as to why you walk funny in your mind. So... I would stop the lies. Help my beautiful wife gaming. Yeah, he always helps me. He he sets up my live streams on the laptop all the time. And I must play GTA tonight. Babe, I'm bad at GTA. You do it. <laughs> I can only drive for a little when I come home. Oh, do you drive? That's your job? The pay, you know what? I couldn't imagine driving right now with my leg the way it is either. You should have someone stand on your back. <laughs> I have deep heat, but it, it's, it, I'm allergic to it. It makes my skin itch. Hello, Tanya Turner. The cat is sunning. Yeah. <laughs> Applebee's, you missed her. She... It's probably because you put too much on. You put, about, put a very thin layer. I'm not supposed to slather it. It's probably why. Read the okay, I haven't heard of it. My wife has that would be too much work for you, I guess. To actually okay, read instructions and directions or follow or anything. You're just going to do oh what you want to do. Barstool. I wish her well. Slather on the paint. Probably screaming in pain. Probably worse than the pain you were trying to cover. No COVID for me. Nice. GTA bees. <laughs> Julia heard a bag. Yeah. See? Aw. An hour and 20 minutes of harassing a cat. I was just going to say, getting a deep fitness house really helps. So you've got to find the exact spot causing the pain. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Ava, well, thank you for being here, Beezer. She has no Good idea. See you. Love your videos. Gonna you block that one. Thank they know too so much, much about sciatica. Oops, block them. They knew too much about yeah, the disease. Should, so. It's not a disease, actually, condition. I apologize. Okay, I do have one. 
very, very bad snowstorm in Canada. Ugh, I don't miss that. It's a lot of gaming stream. <laughs> Basically a pinch snow plan. Head and, and head and back are very bad. Yeah, that would be cool. Can't do much of the tumors and sex. Oh, it's your drop. I wish you well. I, I really hate hearing that you're in pain. Oh, gosh. Who's that? I wish I could take it away for you, from you, for real. Oh, God. Yeah, pain makes everything. Like, it's unbearable. I wish you had proper health care. You need proper health care. You look different today, Eric Beauty. Like, really? <laughs> Good to see you with your beautiful wife. Thank you, Kelly. Did you? <laughs> oh. Um. Hold on. <laughs> Desert Rose. I hope that's not plaque on your teeth at the front of your teeth, girl. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to make this bigger on this thing, but. I don't know if that's lipstick on the gum line, but they look inflamed there, girl. A little bit red and sore. Are you flossing? Are you getting dental care? I hope so. All right, 20 minutes, hurry it up. GTA, I don't know. I'm bad at it, guys. Yeah, true, true, true. You're trying to keep You really need to no. take your teeth. I'm being dead serious. Really? Does he think it works? Oh. Maybe, Lexi, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for saying hey, babe. <laughs> what happened to ASMR channel? Ugh. It's hard maintaining three channels. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you know, I released two video guys and they didn't get me a million views and make me $10,000. So I decided to give up after that. You know how it goes. Eight genuine questions. I'm a big girl myself and struggle with my image. Do you find yourself attractive despite your weight? Yeah. The only thing is, um, I mean, not to say that someone healthy, when I don't feel healthy, who isn't, healthy. who isn't a larger body size is not an attractive person. I just laugh at Chantel because she uses so many filters to mask actually what she looks like that she is showing to the rest of us she doesn't feel comfortable in her skin and she doesn't think she's attractive. Because if you felt that way, you wouldn't feel the need to hide it all away behind a bunch of filters and so forth and get angry if people get shots of her out in public. So no, Chantel, you really are, you know, you need to be a little bit more honest you're just sitting here playing a role. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, I understand. But your audience is hoping for a little bit more transparency, girl. Like, you know, like, I don't know, sexy or whatever. But you have to really... Caddy Pickles! <laughs> Thank you, Caddy Pickles. Oh, <laughs> a body positivity talk from Chantel. Thank you. I'm ready for it. Between harassing a I cat. appreciate that. It means a lot. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> they seeing you on filter, girl. Stretching really helps, too. No, that means, that's too much really? work. Sure that. Oh, God, uh, really? 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 Because you have sciatica and you've no physical therapist that's working with you? Because that's actually the first line of therapy for sciatica. That's the first line of therapy. It's physical therapy. Any medications that they give you, Chantel, would to be to make physical therapy easier to help relieve the sciatica. Because the sciatica is a pinched nerve. And if you're not doing therapy that's physical in order to release that nerve or release the bulging disc or whatever's compressing on that nerve, that pinched nerve, then medic it's not just medication. Stop scamming people. Girl, you know you got no effing sciatica. Stop the lies. You need to stop the lies. You're a bold-faced liar. You're just a liar. And I'm getting the word out, and I'm getting more and more views on my little tiny channel, and everyone getting to know that you're a liar. That's why they keep asking you about it, girl. Because I actually am a medical professional, and I have all the evidence, research, and background, and you just got nothing but your lying mug out here. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Liar, con artist, like, medical scammer. Like, take I'm after you now, and I'm looking at yourself. Just like, touch yourself. Not and be like, go. Oh, I don't mean sexual way, but like, you know, like your whole body, like, liar. Flesh, you know, Still like, there's a reason man. to be attractive. Like, I don't know. You don't feel attractive so, yeah, at all. <laughs> Nothing about you that makes you think that you're so, attractive. <laughs> Yeah. You feel anything but a crack. I do miss him. But maybe you, you, Dracula. you are a narcissist. <laughs> How are you? Let me delete it that way. 
I'm talking over you because you're boring. Yeah. Yeah. Once you love yourself, fill in the bathroom and grab a box of pizza. <laughs> I don't like corn You're a liar. You to it. The water? Uh, I'm hungry, mistress. I want to have breakfast. And that's a lot without telling you something. No. Yeah, I've been having I've had collagen in my water. Yeah. <clears throat> She's just going to supplement, you know, because she doesn't really get medical care. I'm not going to do it for you, girl. Yeah. Whatever you're your, feeling, I'm going to let you know, girl. Thanks for coming here. You look like a fool just sitting here thinking you could just take all the supposed supplement and walk around covered head to toe in clothing, telling people you're getting vitamin D exposure and stuff. You just don't even understand half of how the human body, not even a, a fraction you just sound not very educated on medicine or health. And any of us who work in the industry blow through your argument in about three seconds. And your duper's delight, that bovine nonsense that you're drinking, it might help with some skin. There is some research potentially showing that. You just cannot do it with a bunch of supplements. However you're feeling is not going to be correct with supplements. And you also obviously cannot receive proper medical care because you're on a visa that's a tourist visa in a foreign country. And most of us would realize that you're not going to be able to follow up with a primary care provider when you're supposed to be only short. Oh, yeah, looking at the camera like, oh, what's going on? How am I conning everyone today? You're a con artist. I'm struggling with my body image after losing Just weight. Just con I'm artist. I I Absolute con myself. artist. I love the big deflated balloon. Yeah, I know I will have some too, for sure. Con yeah. artist. Oh, well, right? I mean... So Let me see how many lies you can body. spit out. I need to have a lie armature yeah. out here. Lie one, lie two, especially for the medical lie. Thing for sure. I had keto bread with salmon. Well, they're all lies. super healthy, mistress. Every, everyone, want, like, everything she talks about her health is an absolute want, shameful lie. Like, our breakfast, that's like full of diabetes. She is a diabetic. Balloon, balloon, jam, dates, macros. <laughs> it's like self-care, taking care of yourself, making yourself feel better by yourself. Yes. Yeah, you do feel better. Ah. Ah. <laughs> just eat self care. Yeah, I like the, this. Is the glow up queen? Everybody, take a peek. See Chantel, the glow up queen. Oh, if only I could attain yeah, this level of glow up, true. I'd be just complete. You have one here, so once they fill it up after the winter, yeah, yeah, he does massage me. Let's see. No, he doesn't. He blessing. It wouldn't touch oh, you with a 10 inch. Life is a blessing. And it's Sorry, so 10 so foot pole. Every day. 10 inch was generous. I'm grateful for that. When you're so grateful for every little thing, um, you know, it's not about body image as much as not. It's being healthy, exactly, mistress. Yeah. Oh, God. Exactly. Healthy. Health queen you here. feel better. The health queen here. This, this one. This one. Okay. She's about to chow down to a pizza after this. Okay, folks. I just want you to understand. This girl is about to say that she needs a cheat meal because she drank some bovine stuff. Okay, this is a person who thinks she should be out here talking about health and health journeys and how to take care of your health as she fakes a visit to a clinic and lies about having sciatica. Doesn't know anything about the medication or treatment modalities. Nothing. Just lying. And her audience is like, well, that's not how they treated my sciatica. And they're all confused as bejesus in the chat. You know why, girl? Because they actually are getting treated for sciatica and are being honest. And you're just a bold-faced liar getting caught in a bunch of lies. God, you're just shameless. You really are a shameless, medical, lying, scamming con artist. Continue. You're healthier, of course. Let me see how far you can keep burying yourself because this is enjoyable. Well, I'm I'm be bad bad. I love how you're burying yourself <laughs> even further down. I saw ham, egg, and salad sandwich. Yum. That sounds good. And that's what the emojis made. Fire. Cool therapy, yes. Yeah, I heard that's good, especially for like sciatica and stuff. Ah! Honing exercises, that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm such an expert because I'm working with all the best people in the world to control my sciatica. I'm the sciatica siren. I know everything about sciatica. You're just a shameless scammer. I don't believe it is so long and I never it is. They were you living in another place? I'm a lie. Deepest delight. Con artist. 
Malingering <laughs> Miriam <laughs> Pokemon and Detox. I need to switch up my Pokemon and Detox. Oh, God. To protect my organs. That's a good idea, Mr. I have to do that, too. Oh, yeah. fast. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Because this is where I need to get my medical advice and attention from is for my live chat. Because Chantel is so smart when it comes to medicine and healthcare and how to take care of her body that she gets her information from TikTok and her live chat. Well done, girl. Oh, sounds good. I will sounds try. like you're a real expert. You must be breaking out that Wikipedia <laughs> oh, soon. Yes, it's like exactly like that. Where you found out about the sciatica about from health Wikipedia. Problems you're still grateful, like, alhamdulillah, you know. It's it is a peer-reviewed source, problems. so I, I can understand. I'm lying. You two are solid, yes. Thank you. What are you talking about? Like wifey. Roach, talk over you again. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, Caddy Pickles. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe being skinny. Thanks for saying hey, baby. <laughs> Maybe being skinny is not that healthy because not so long ago I was very sick. I'm a lot better. Oh, Vanessa, I wish you well. <laughs> Yeah, true, but you have a point. Like, it's not always just people who are overweight who are unhealthy. But being overweight is unhealthy. It is. I mean, you can't deny that, you know? Oh, I used to, like, God. Body positive is just, like, not hating yourself. But also, I think it's important. Yeah, it's like being oh, overweight is not she goes. Like, look at all the health problems I have. Anytime, baby. <laughs> your health problems are your own choice, Chantel. You did it Hello. yourself. Choices, choices you make. Spring makeup looks. They are no, a lot of choices you the, the time of season, you know? All right, I don't want to lie about your health. Wear wear this has been like you know, I don't know. one health <laughs> lie <laughs> after the next, except <laughs> your health is poor, and that's true. You just don't know what's up. Leave the cat alone. Vanessa, I want Cortana now. 86 seconds? What? How many seconds? What? Oh, God. You need to get your glasses on. Where are your glasses? Yeah. Gosh, girl, you're straining yeah, exactly. your eyes. I'm I'm terrible. Do you know why your brother from another mother has jammed deleted his channel? I didn't even know that he kept my brother from another mother. Oh, no, I don't. <clears throat> I think he's done that before. I don't think he can handle the heat sometimes. Uh -oh. it, it, you know what? Well, neither can you. It's, hard. it's not easy if you're... Um... Neither can you, Chantal, because your chat or your comments down below are completely limited. I mean, it's only, I think, members only can put comments down below. Because usually you have far more comments asking you about your diabetes and aren't you worried about your health. And all you've got is 12 comments asking you, you know, telling you how, what a queen you are. So it doesn't sound like you can take the heat either. So you need to start trying to just say that other people, you know, you also are demonstrating the exact same behavior. Just an adult telling another adult. So all of it's childish but you are the queen of the childish um, club hard mentally if you can't handle it, me, I, don't care. <laughs> I mean people have done so many like the worst things ever that you know they think they're getting to me but in a way they make me more resilient so really I, really really the kuwaiti style you will be feeling resilient when youtube strips about twenty thousand of your subs that you had to pay for very different yes I think someone bought. I heard you cried a lot when you, they got rid of your like channel, 90, too. 900, eh? I was thinking that storm, too. Like, I didn't even notice until someone said something, and then I checked, and I'm like, yeah, that's a thing. And I asked, like, YouTube, I'm like, I, I'm i afraid because, like, if like if you buy subscribers, you can get in trouble, right? But I asked YouTube, I messaged them, like, on the chat, support chat, and I said, don't worry about it. If it's bots, they'll just delete it, like, eventually. So if my subs go down, then I know. Well, if you, so, you know, why aren't you then sharing your screen? To show us this response from the YouTube email team or whatever team you wrote to, supposedly. This is why no one believe you, because you got no receipts. So there was no email sent to the YouTube management team or whatever regarding these subs that you bought. Yeah, like you just mysteriously were given 800 subs because somebody just wanted to play with you like that, Chantel. You are so, it's just, girl, girl, there's five people in the chat. They're the only five people on the globe that believe you. And whatever, I don't really care. I don't, I don't really pay attention to that. Like, if ever I Yes, you do. I'm going to be talking about it now. Good. You know, if not, well, good. <laughs> whatever. You're a liar. So you know you're going to have that money wasted. 
Apple pee is really yesterday. We don't have a plate to get it. Can we come and get a slide together? Do you like smoked poutine? Yes. You have to have thick skin as a public figure. You, yes, exactly. You're not a public mm -hmm. figure. Joe Biden is a public yeah. figure. Yeah, Millie, sure. King Charles is actually. a public figure. You're just a YouTube creator, girl. Under freaking subs. Probably them out. buying bots or something or doing bots so they can have content. <laughs> I'm 40 this year and had no idea you was so crazy and that there was drama. Hi, Amanda Anderson. There's a new subscriber. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Listen, if you're the t if you're trying to <laughs> Chantel, what are you gonna? Oh, good. She's about to wrap up. Hurry up. Find someone to break them and bring them down and keep them down. I'm not the one. You're gonna have a hard time with that. No, you'll so do it by you yourself. Know? Don't worry. <laughs> you'll have an ankle go resilient. out or your pancreas. And so, uh, don't worry. You'll be bringing yourself yeah. down, girl. I'm here the for more people want to bring me down. The more it makes me want to stay on top. So. You're not on top. It makes good food. True. You're robbery. not on top. We can make hour-long videos of Chantel walking to the car. Yeah, I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have. We well, made up your walk too. We know this. We we checked that one out too, where you kind of it looked like you were faking the walk up to the clinic that you didn't have an appointment in, because you're lying about the sciatica. You just have a funky gait because you're starting to get peripheral neuropathy because of the diabetes, and you had to cover it up somehow. So you came out with this sciatica story, and then you misread how sciatica is treated because you're a real Einstein. So now you're having to stick to the story and you're trying to milk it for all it's worth. But because people are actually those who have knowledge of the disorder, have experienced the disorder or work with people with the disorder, know that you're just full of it, girl. But you just keep bashing the same story out and the, you just are a medical con artist. You are a malingering con artist. During Ramadan. Technically, Mary, as a Muslim, I'm not really supposed to wear makeup, but there's, I don't know. You don't there's do anything you're supposed to do, but, girl. Uh, so yeah, why talk so about it? My husband told me for first week skin, he married me at 70 kg. I gained 40 kg. I've lost now from strict diet, and I feel better. Good for you. One thing is for sure, Chantal's resilient. Thank you, Kina Bear. I remember after first finding your channel and then seeing you had a bunch of people dedicated to it. I was like, what did I just discover? Yeah, I mean. We discovered a like, hot like, hand. Like, train wreck. People, like, Welcome you know, to the ride. So, it's fantastic. On the other hand, it can also attract people because people, like let's say you see, see a figure, a public figure that everyone's talking about, you know? Aren't you going to be interested to know what's going on? Definitely lots of little chunky monkeys a lot there, spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, during Ramadan. Yeah, probably. Public figure. Ramadan. She really got the narcissism okay. going. At least not during fasting time. We Let's already talked about your Ramadan, meeting. girl. Oh, really? Shameful. Ew. You can't even swallow like two faced. You have to be careful. I have to be a strong person to be dealt with. Yeah. Thanks, teardrop. <laughs> that was random. Like this, just chatting about. No, can't even imagine. Somebody was trying to remind so you to brush your teeth, Santel. Yeah, I mean, that's how you make it. We always laugh, Vanessa. You always make us laugh with the emojis. Rojo. Okay, now my leg is starting. Like, I need to get up and walk around. So I said, I know, this muscle go. Um, so probably that, 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 that and maybe going. if uh, I'm able to, maybe a gaming stream later, like a late later. If not, then probably tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which game? I don't know yet, Mistress. Maybe Sims. Can you please you stop home. yawning <laughs> during your own cool. live stream? It's a edible very rude. No. For the people stuff. watching you. Let's traumatize At least cover your mouth. You too. Thank you, Teardrop. Bye, Blondie. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Amnesia. Or game. I want to guess. I'm going to check the bundle out. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, Crystal. Thanks, guys. Bye, Anna. Bye, everybody. Patrick, everybody. Yeah, they're all trying to say goodbye. And you still go on for five yeah, minutes. I, I struggle with no makeup. I so they're it. all trying to leave. <laughs> they're all done. They said yeah. hour, 20 minutes. We're out. This is dumb. This is boring. Oh my gosh, Apple <laughs> you keep going on for okay. five minutes. I'm out of here. <laughs> hoping, hoping somebody send you a super chat or what? What are you hoping oh, for? Do you guys want to see Howie first? Oh, is this the moment? Babe. The big number two comes out? Can you bring Howie? But just the hamster if you can grab him. Oh god! Cage. <laughs> if not, then bring the whole cage and I'll grab it. Oh, this is. Where I want to show you guys Howie first. She has this core man in the. Everybody, introducing Howie the third. <laughs> we actually think this might have been filmed before she went to the clinic. Babe. Before she rages. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for the warm welcome. Babe, do you want to bring Howie or no? Oh yes. Howie. Under duress. 
I have Kina Bear, right? He doesn't live here though. They're gonna say he just came here. <laughs> so stupid. Doesn't want anything to do with you, yo. Big man. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Uh, just put him here, yeah. This is how we want to say hi. Is he awake? Yeah. So. Does okay. not want anything to do with you, yo. This must be just before they went yeah. to the desert with the camels. Oh no, she talked about the camels. So this is after. Hello. <laughs> Hi, babe. Thanks, babe. <laughs> you big man. What do you want? I help. You want a peanut? I wonder how much you have to pay for that visit to the oh, house. Help. Don't bite my Kofia. Poor Howie. He's already putting his end of his life on that. Don't put it in your cheeks. Howie. Ow, Howie. Look, he's going to put it in his cheeks. <laughs> Kina Bear, because Howie bite him peanuts on me. Thank you, Kina. Oh, you will appreciate it. Get out of my Kofia. Say thank you, oh, Kina Bear. I don't know you. He he's wants away from me. You don't handle him enough. <laughs> he's making a new nest. Just don't do no, anything with your animals. So funny. Thanks, Stop Marshall. using your animals like Thank content you. like that. Peanuts, how? We'll be he doesn't Wait. even. He doesn't. He's not okay. comfortable with you. He wants okay. on. Yeah, okay. I know. Babe. He's for two seconds of content. Oh, babe. Can you put him back for me, please? Because she's freaking out. Oh, here. Yeah, because oh. they don't know you. Because you don't handle that animal enough. Yeah. If that hamster yeah. was handled by you more frequently, <laughs> his they would not be freaking out. Oh, Howie. No, you can. If you can put that in his cheek. It's okay. He just wants to eat now. <laughs> You're so uncomfortable with that poor little hamster. <sighs> okay. You Bye start now. to make money in content. The ASMR, the it? hamster content. You idiot. That man said very unhappy. Okay. Cute aggression. All right. He's going to go back in his, in his room where he's protected. Okay, guys. Hi, Willow Creek. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Precious. Thanks, Blondie. Your hamster's cute, too. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next stream, okay? Oh, please Bye. don't. Bye. Adios. All right. We're done with Chantel. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. We are finished with Miss Chantel. Oh, gosh. That was exhausting. I guess we got to hear Salau's very depressed sounding voice at the end there. Hey? Oh, Howie made an appearance. That's nice. I managed to get her hour and 22 minute video to an hour and 37 with my commentary included. So yeah, that's good. <sighs> so uh, let's see how long the medical lives can continue. And I guess she got some extra money from getting closer to getting paid from the YouTube time to start to pay old Salau here. Uh, he sounds very unhappy. They must have a day. They must have some filming planned. Uh, for some content. Maybe she gets him a couple of days a month because she did that last, like, a few weeks ago. She had a couple of days where he was taking her out and she filmed, and then suddenly she went down on this bed-bound orc. And now a few weeks, and it was a whole medical lion scam, and now for the last couple of days, it seems that he's back and he's been taking her out and doing content. So I would not be surprised if we do not see some vlogged content from her coming out. Uh, anyway, all right, guys. I feel quite exhausted from watching Chantel. I feel exhausted from having to call out all her medical lies today, too. So anyway, if you do like this type of content, I do ask that you do subscribe. I am trying to get to 800 subscribers by shamelessly asking for them rather than blaming reactors or saying there were these mysterious bots that go around the internet suddenly just giving YouTube channels 800 subs and then having to make up stories that you've contacted YouTube help and trying to find out why somebody would do such a devious thing like that and then not even show the response letter. And you could screen share that pretty easily, girl. So anyway, like I said, if you do like it, just hit the likes, make a comment, subscribe, and I am going to see you on the next one.